and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, yes, and today we're going to be going over the Madden market. Now, as you guys saw yesterday, the introduction of the playoff promo actually led to the market being very, very expensive. So I'm going to go over the prices with you guys again, kind of go over what we should be doing right about now. Team of the year is probably about 10 days away, so let's see what we're working with. We probably get one LTD from the playoffs within that time period. That's probably about it, not so much other content-wise, probably not much else content-wise that we should be seeing that day. So not much should change the market. So I think we're going to be pretty safe with it being this high for a little bit longer. Unless Madden just throws something for playoffs that we're not usually typically, well, we're not typically used to. But we'll see what happens. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. You guys have been going crazy. We're almost at 17K already. We're growing crazy fast, guys. The goal is 20K. 25 at the end of the year, obviously. 17 by the end of the week. But 20K is a goal. That's a big moment. That's a milestone right there. I, I would have doubled from 10K, which was my first big milestone, which would be pretty crazy to see, quite honestly. So let's see, let's see if we can get there. And also, Noti Gang. You guys gotta keep going strong. Noti Gang, you guys are growing the channel. Noti Gang every day pops out, comments Noti Gang, likes the video. If Noti Gang keeps up being strong, the channel keeps growing. I'm telling you guys, nothing is better for your video than having hundreds of thousands of Noti Gang guys coming in here, liking the video, and watching the video. I'm telling you, keep it up, boys. All right, now let's get into this video. So, let's head over to the auction block. Let's go check out the cards again. So, last day, the 88s are about 45K. Unfilterable, but still 45K. I don't know what, what went on. A lot of you guys gave me a bunch of interesting theories about sets and stuff, which could be very true. I haven't really looked into it, so more than likely you're right. But it's just it's just interesting the way that worked. Let's go. So 35K, so they're back down a little bit. So I did tell you guys to sell yesterday, so hopefully you listened to me. I'm pretty sure, based on the 88s, which are my market indicator, the Groundhog is indeed back in its, in its cave today. It is not out. The market's not up. It's hiding. It's dormant. So by based on that, I'd imagine that the market's down as a whole. Let's see. Let's go to 80. Let's go to 90 so we can go check out to see how the market's trending right now. If it did come back down, I hope you guys did end up taking my advice and selling. It is back down. Yesterday, the 90 overalls were in fact 95k, and now they're 73k. I, guys, I hope, I pray you guys took that advice. I warned you guys that it would not stay that high. In my video, I literally titled it "Sell." Hope you guys sold. Because if you did sell, you probably made back an average of like 10% extra profit per player. Now you hold those coins. I pro if you if you sold yesterday, guys, probably you guys listen to me. If you sold, you hold those coins now and you wait until team of the year. Or maybe a nice playoff, a little extra playoff content might come out. But I'm telling you, the play I'm going to be honest with you guys, the 12 playoff uh, heroes, not good. The two playoff masters are really good. Those are the I recommend buying the two playoff masters. But more than that, team of the year is going to introduce 98 overall players, 97, 96, 95. Wait for team of the year. You're going you're gonna to you get to pick. You don't have to, you're not stuck to what they give you. You have 30 to 40 players that they're going to introduce. You get to pick who you want, as well as you get two for free. Wait for Team of the Year. Because remember, Team of the Year is going to give you two for free. See what you get. Or if you, if you kept up your Team of the, the Week sellers, obviously, you'll get two. If not, you should probably get one. But you're going to get two for free. See what you get first. See the landscape of your team. Build up the coin stack. And then when time is when, when the time's ready, the time's right, I mean, and Team of the Year is here, adjust for what you need. And then we got the Super Bowl coming right after that, which Super Bowl typically doesn't introduce too many players that I want. But again, it changes every year. You never know what they're going to introduce. Some, some years they drop Elway that I don't want, and like a Dallas Clark maybe, and then other years they might drop like a Jerry Rice or something, or Dion. So we really have to see things obviously change every year. That would be really cool if they dropped the Super Bowl type Dion card. That'd be awesome. Or like a Steve Young, uh, Steve Young MVP card, or a Steve Young record breaking Super Bowl. That'd be really cool if they dropped a card like that. But you never know with the A. Let's check out the flashbacks real quick because it seems like flashbacks typically pretty cheap. We have 75K, which right in line with the Legends. As a whole, like I said, good indicators right here let's go up to 92 93s now this is where we start to get the cards that you guys actually want to buy so it's a little bit interesting when we talk about these let's put them up by legends first i feel like legends is just so overwhelming that definitely is usually the lowest on the block 117 so yeah they're definitely down yesterday's cards were up to like 145 150 guys i'm telling you i hope you sold you could have definitely made a decent return as we get higher up obviously there's going to be a bigger uh reduction price so it's not going to be as profitable as it was with some of these lower ones but definitely still is there now, as far as the Redux go, Redux seem unfazed to an extent just because of the nature of these cards. Not exactly the most common card. Well, they're kind of common, but they're not as common as like a regular card. Now, the, guys, I'm just going to let you guys know something. The last few cards left to get their upgrade is going to, like, it's pretty obvious. Madden's searching for all my 10 cards, and they're giving them all upgrades. So, Julius Peppers is one of the guys. Julius Peppers and Joe Thomas haven't got cards yet. Julius Peppers, I could see him getting some kind of playoff LTD card. Now, Joe Thomas didn't really play in the playoffs, so for him, I wouldn't. I don't know when they'd introduce Joe Thomas as another uh, as another card. 
And I don't know what other Mateng... Oh, and Troy Palomalo. I don't know when they could introduce Palomalo. Maybe in the Super Bowl promo, because I believe he does have two Super Bowl rings. So it would be pretty interesting if they gave Palomalo a card. I don't know if they will. But it looks like that's kind of been the trend. They're giving all Mateng cards upgrades. And with, uh, I believe this series should be ending pretty soon. The last series started in the beginning of December, which would mean that this series should be sometime... I mean, it'd have to end to the end of January, unless they take it all the way to February, which would be like a two-month-long series, which is really long. But if they do do that... That's when we'll get the next uh, batch of Reduxes, which we haven't gotten in a little bit, as well as some new power-ups, which we haven't got one of those. Like, remember that video I made like two months ago? We got the Lamar Jackson power-up. We haven't had a video like that in a while. Like, they haven't just dropped a batch of power-ups, which they definitely need to do, because a lot of cards need power-ups. I, I get comments all the time about where these new power-up cards. Are. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Now coming over to here, let's see where these are going at, because these were really cheap yesterday. Like I said, Ghost to Present, I think we're going to go up anyways. See, they came down a little bit. Yeah, they were like at 212. They were like 230, 240 yesterday. Now, I told I told you guys, I said they would go up initially because they trained, they changed from kindling to training. So they'd go up, and then the playoff problem would come out and everything, and then they come back down. And that's exactly what they did. They came back down. Hopefully, you guys capitalized a little bit on the increased price. Now, as we go up deeper, obviously, the LTDs, we can't really say much about them. They're LTDs. They're going to be 700K. It's, it's Khalil Mack. It's, it's a big name great card and LT at a position that we don't have many players at it was just a shoe and to be crazy expensive now let's see the go actually before we go to that let's go check out actually no, let's check out the ghost of madden uh pass let's see where these are at 304 yeah these are back up to like 330 yesterday so thank god those came back down because those were getting really expensive i mean i mean for bo jackson i'd pay 600k for so i don't really see it as expensive but when we've seen them for like 230 240 it's kind of hard to see them in anything else at this point and if you guys still want to do this set, still not too expensive to do. And the Master Vic is still really, really amazing. Let's go check out Vic real quick. Vic's 415, 416, not a bad price. Let's see what. Oh, I think that pretty much wraps up that. Let's go back to the NFL 100s real quick. NFL 100 guys, like a, it's so sad. NFL 100s were gonna like, we everyone thought it was gonna like ruin the game. There were gonna be so many great players. People overlooked the NFL 100s. Like they literally ended and they dropped so much new content. NFL 100s are forgotten about. I like, look at these prices. The forgotten promo. The greatest promo that never was. It was so quick. It was over. And before you could even get, before I could even enjoy these players, it was over. Because that's the thing, right? When you want to get these players, you have to be smart. You have to wait a few weeks and then buy them. So I waited a few weeks. And when it was finally time to buy them, they dropped so many other cards that were just as good, if not better. I never really had a chance. I mean, I, I, had to, I got to play with Randy. I got to play with Lawrence. I got to play with uh, Dion. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. Oh, and Barry Sanders, obviously. But I think that wraps up the extent of what I was able to do with the NFL 100s. Now, the NFL 100s. They do appear to be pretty cheap. Like I said, a lot of these lower guys are great budget buys. Like you could easily pick these guys up for a small amount of coin. Like Reggie White, still gonna be insane. Barry Sanders, still great. Joe Montana, great. So many great cards below 400k that you could still pick up. Now, with the ghost, the issue with the ghost of present and Madden Pass and all them, they're just as good as these cards, and they come at a cheaper price for higher overall sometimes. So it's it's re it's really tricky to when you when you look at these cards. Like some new cards are just as good, if not cheaper. So it's kind of hard to look at them. Now, 96, 97s, we do have a few 96s here. So we have the Vic, obviously, as well as the new Champ Bailey. Now, guys, the new Champ Bailey is an absolute monster. I highly recommend everyone picks him up. You can't, you can't argue these stats. 94 speed, 94 excel, 95 agility. You're right there. You can't argue with a 90 press or 96 man. It's Deion Sanders, it's Deion Sanders with press. That's it. Deion Sanders with press. It, that's all you got to say. And then Terrell Owens is obviously great. I don't think he's my receiver of choice. Powered up and chemed up, he's going to be pretty much a better Randy Moss. Although Randy Moss is slightly faster, so that comes down to what you prefer there. Thrones is great, but I don't really see it as a guy that I need to have on my team. I'm more than okay just rocking with my champ. Now, Patrick Willis has shot up in price a little bit. People must really like him. Combine that with the fact that I mean, his speed is really high compared to Ryan Shazier. He's definitely faster. Devin Bush, he's same speed. I mean, he's a, great, he's a great linebacker, but I don't think I'd pay that price for him. Champ Bailey, though, definitely a guy you want to pick up. I think Champ Bailey's endgame. I think Deion Sanders and Champ Bailey combine our endgame every year. Deion Sanders, you could literally have all year. He'll do just fine. Champ Bailey, because you have that speed. You have that speed combined with those thresholds. So their coverage is always going to be top tier, and their speed is going to almost be maxed out. So you combine that. Then all you got to do is wait for Champ Bailey's Ultimate Legend card and Deion Sanders' Ultimate Legend card, and they'll keep rocking out. I think you get Champ and Deion on both sides of the field, and you're set, you're set for the year. That's why I'm going to probably get this Champ Bailey, lock him in, and be happy with him at some point. I just gotta get the coin stack up just a little bit before I can go ahead and do all that. But guys, that is better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy going over the market. I hope this gave you guys some insight on what I'm kind of trying to do right now myself. Like I said, at this point now, things are coming down. 
don't buy yet. I think if you sold, you sold. That's great. If you didn't sell yet, there's probably a few cards that are still have some value you could sell. But other than that, at this point, just wait for team of the year. Things might come out between now and team of the year. It usually doesn't, but we have to see. Obviously, I'll be covering this for you guys daily. So expect that. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Turn that noti gang. Turn that noti bell. Let's get to 17k by the end of the week. And hopefully 20k within the next month or so because guys that is a huge milestone hopefully we can hit it now that's better for the video guys if you didn't already noti gang gotta go strong as usual comment down below noti gang comment down below if you get to the end of the video and like the video can we get 100 likes in this video in the first hour and 250 to 500 likes overall that's about it guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace